Hey there boys and girls, welcome back to Indian Motorcycle of El Cajon. My name is Christian. Today we are doing a walkthrough on the most popular asked about motorcycle on the entire sales floor, the Indian Sport Chief. Technically it's Sport Chief Dark Horse if you want to get uh, in with all the names. Uh, we're going to go through the motor, some of the specs, some of the features, uh, just some general secrets and uh, where everything is. I'm going to try to be as objective as possible without any of my personal preferences just so you can make your own uh, preferences and uh, come test ride one, come find one and uh, take one home. All right, let's get started. So first and foremost, the Chief lineup in general, right? So this is a little bit bigger than the Scouts, smaller than the Springfields. It's considered a full size cruiser, right along the same size as like a soft tail, for example. Um, so you're gonna get a lot of versatility in terms of long distance riding, short distance riding, inner city, freeway, whatever. It does great at everything. The Sport Chief Dark Horse is going to have the 116 Thunderstroke motor. That's 116 cubic inches, which translates to 1890 cc's, and it's pulling 120 foot-pounds of torque. It's a ball, man. It's, a, it's an absolute blast. The transmission is going to be a six-speed, of course, and it's going to be a wet clutch with a clutch cable, which means you feel everything. No matter what gear you're in, no matter what you're trying to do, you feel absolutely everything and it's a seamless shift all the way through. So you have power, you have ease of use, and you have balance. This is a steel tube frame. All the weight is very, very low center of gravity. This is actually 685 pounds when it's completely full, but it's very balanced. It curves right through the corners as you need. Now along with that Thunderstroke motor, the Dark Horse trim level on the Chief lineup is also going to give you a digital display. This is your 4-inch Ride Command display system with full navigation, three different ride modes, uh, you got access to your fuel, you got access to your trip, you got access to your ambient temperature, your battery voltage, everything you can think of on this motorcycle access is right there. You can even control the Bluetooth in your helmet. Everything on your ride command, it's a wonderful feature. I'll post another video explaining everything of what that is step by step, that way you know how to use it better. So now let's dive through what makes the Sport Chief an actual Sport Chief. There's quite a few things, we're going to break it all down. Uh, for a quick verse, you've got the quarter fairing. T-bars, normally they're going to come with mid-control pegs. You're going to get your inverted front forks, your Brembo dual disc brakes, your Fox piggyback shocks, your syndicate seat. It's a lot. All right, so the quarter fairing on the front end. This guy's going to protect your chest from some of that wind hitting you when you have 90, 100, 110 miles an hour, whatever you're doing. This is going to be the mid-rise. You can't get the taller version. You can't get the shorter version, depending on your ride height and your preference. That's going to take some of that extra uh, wind off your chest, making it a lot easier to ride. You're also going to get the T-bar set up. Now we've installed 10-inch rise on this version, but stock you're going to get a 4-inch rise. That's going to make the front end very rigid, have a lot of control in the middle of the lean, um, without any of the flex that you would get from, say, an ape hanger of any kind. You're going to get the syndicate seat. Huge improvement in my opinion. Again, I'm just trying to be objective, but huge improvement as opposed to the flat seat on the standard chief. That extra torque that you get in there with it being a flatter seat, you tend to slide around a little bit, so this just plants you exactly where you need to be. And then you have the suspension. This is where it starts getting really, really fun. So the rear from the factory is gonna be Fox piggyback shocks. Great to add it right there. The front is gonna be inverted front forks. What that means on the inverted front fork is let's say you hit a pothole. Instead of your whole frame slamming into your forks, it's just the wheel absorbing that impact. It makes it a lot smoother, makes it a lot easier to ride. And then you have the braking system. Brembo dual calipers, dual disc brakes, four piston calipers, again, stock from the factory. So you've got Fox piggyback shocks, you've got inverted front forks, Brembo dual disc brakes, everything in terms of the suspension making it a wonderful ride, but as an added benefit, it actually lifts the ride up. The Sport Chief is an inch higher in clearance and an inch more in lean angle than any of the other Chief models. That's what makes this a sport model, that's what makes it performance, that's what makes it fun. For fuel, you got a four gallon gas tank. Uh, so this guy right here is just gonna take you about, mm, I'd say on an average of 150 miles on a full tank. It really depends on what modes you're actually using, but we'll go over that stuff later. So we've gone through the motor, 116 cubic inches, 120 foot pounds of torque. We've gone through the suspension, right, and how it lifts the bike up an inch, gives you an inch more clearance and lean angle. Let's talk about some of the electronics. Um, so I mentioned the ride command system a little bit earlier. It's a four inch digital display. You've got two different versions on the gauge system that you want to see. Full navigation, turn by turn direction navigation. It even connects with the Ride Command app, which is gonna allow you to see a majority of your bike's features on your phone, which is a really, really great feature. Beyond that, you do get cruise control. Cruise control is a standard on all of the Chief models. And this is an electronic throttle, which means you get three different ride modes to choose from. So you have a standard mode, mainly used for stop and go traffic. You've got a tour mode to elongate your fuel economy as much as possible. And then you have a sport mode, which 
let's be honest, that's probably what most people are going to end up using. Sport mode is just going to make this super responsive, uh, very similar to a cable throttle. Standard is going to have a little bit of a delay, just a nice easy gradual response, and then tour mode again to elongate your fuel economy. Beyond that, as I mentioned earlier, you do have a button to actually control your Bluetooth in your helmet. So if you're like me and you like to listen to music, you can forward song, you can up volume, down volume, you can mute the whole thing, all from the control button on the bike itself. And for lighting, the whole bike is LED. So from your turn signals front and rear, even to your headlight, this is actually the Pathfinder LED headlight that you could upgrade on the Scouts, but it comes already straight from the factory on all of the Chiefs. You're also going to get a USB port. It's kind of hidden. I'm not sure if you can see it. But it's in the front of the tank here in between the frame. And over here, you're going to get a pre-installed trickle charger. So I don't know if you know this, but every Indian motorcycle has a pre-installed trickle charger just for charging up the battery. Not everybody rides every single day like we do out here in California. Uh, but that allows you to just maintain your battery voltage, make it last as long as you possibly can, and uh, keep riding tomorrow. So there you go, there's your walk around. Uh, we went over the motor, suspension, the features, the electronics, a couple little secrets on there. Um, both of these are available, by the way, here at Indian Motorcycle of El Cajon, 345 North Magnolia. You can call us at 619-328-1901. Should be somewhere over here on the screen. And uh, that's all I got. Okay, love you, bye.